Hi, I'm Colby, and today I want to talk about Boiling Point. It's a 2021 film that I don't think a lot of people watched, and it's actually really interesting, and I would definitely recommend it. The thing that really stands out about this film is that it's filmed in one continuous shot. I think oftentimes those kind of films can be, it can be a bit of a gimmick to have it as one continuous shot, um, there's, sometimes it's done really successfully, right? With films like Birdman or 1917, I think is a little bit weirder. It doesn't, it's not as necessary as maybe compared to Birdman. And a lot of times I feel like, I feel like for both those films, it wasn't completely necessary to be one shot. And I feel like having it as one shot is often used as like a selling point to be like, oh, look, we cool. We did this cool gimmicky thing. And usually I think it's just better to have multiple shots. Like Shots are great, shots are fine. But Boiling Point, I think maybe is the exception to this rule because as the name suggests, the film is about this kind of constant rising pressure and not breaking really builds that uh, pressure and stress for the audience. Like I, I felt myself like just, you know, you know, clenching my fists and stuff just because there's just so much going on and so much chaos and like, there's so many things that could go wrong in this restaurant. Um, it just it looks really really difficult to to manage and yeah it's, so it it those two elements work really well in this particular film i think sometimes though you kind of miss out on like better structured shots but i think what the film does well is that it takes you around the kitchen and it takes you through all the different workers it takes you out while they're taking out the trash it takes you to these different tables and it's interesting to see that the tables have wildly different vibes like one there's someone who's getting engaged and another one there's some influencers another one is like a girl's night out another one has a food critic so they're all at the same restaurant, but it's wildly different vibes. And it's interesting to see how like the waiter has to go from a different table and just be ready to go and, and on it in these wildly different circumstances. It's a little bit weird because the film's like about an hour and a half, but clearly more than an hour and a half of time elapses in the story. So they sometimes have to condense, I think, events to fit everything in and also to keep you engaged because otherwise you'd be just kind of watching kind of mundane stuff. So they keep peppering in more and more details and then a lot of these details, you're like, oh dear, that's gonna go wrong. And uh, yeah, I mean, eventually it does. The film's called Boiling Point. So the film also feels a bit theatrical and a bit staged. Obviously with the way that they were shooting, they probably had to rehearse a lot, but also with the way that sometimes the camera isn't ideally framed, you feel a little bit set further back. And that kind of reminded me of being like in the audience um, in, in a theater performance where you don't necessarily see the close-ups of people's faces and stuff like that. There's more of these like wider or medium shots. So um, anyway, it's a really interesting film and it's a really interesting experience. I don't think you necessarily know enough about the characters to really understand maybe where some of the arcs and the stories go. And you're not sure which characters are fully gonna be important besides obviously the, the head chef. But I really enjoyed the film and I definitely would recommend going out and watching it. Not nearly enough people watched it when it came out last year. So definitely check it out. Anyway, thanks for watching.